Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Today I want to show you Local AI. Local AI is a fully loaded offline AI tool. You can run this on your own hardware. It comes with a full chatbot that supports all your favorite models. It has Stable Diffusion baked in with CPU, NVIDIA and AMD support off the shelf. This allows you to easily generate images offline. You also have full text-to-speech capabilities using local AI. Create your own voiceovers using the latest TTS models at zero cost. Hi everyone, thanks for watching the video up to now. Remember to like, comment and subscribe. Local AI also gives us the ability to build our own AI cloud and to distribute AI workloads across multiple nodes. The system also exposes a full API. Everything that you're currently sending online to AI platforms could be redirected to your own infrastructure. Local AI is easy to set up and get working. I will show you in this video how to get this working on Docker using WSL on Windows. Let's get into it. First, you want to ensure you're running the latest Windows updates. Update the machine with the latest updates to ensure we have the latest support available for WSL and virtualization. Click here on the Windows search bar. Type Turn Windows Features On or Off. Select this. We can now enable the Windows features required for Docker. Select the Virtual Machine Platform and also select the Windows Subsystem for Linux. Press OK to install and enable the Windows features. When this process completes, you'll need to restart the machine to enable the new features added. After the reboot completes, click here on the Windows search bar. Type PowerShell. We want to ensure WSL is running on the latest version. In your PowerShell prompt, type WSL space dash dash update. Allow this to run out, and this will update WSL to the latest available version. We can now download and install Docker. Visit docker.com and download a copy of the installer. You can now run the Docker installer. Install Docker. When the installer opens, make sure you select Use WSL2. Then click OK to install. Allow Docker some time to install. When the installation completes, you'll need to log out or restart your PC. After restarting, the installation will continue. Accept the Docker terms, and for now I'll skip registration. Docker will now continue starting. When Docker is started, you'll end up with a Docker dashboard similar to mine. We can now close Docker. If Docker triggered your WSL, that's normal as the installer touched it. You can close WSL as well. Visit the local AI quick start page. Here you will see the commands to build the local AI images. And you will select the build command that matches the hardware that you want to run local AI on. You can see the Docker images are pre-configured for either CPU or accelerated GPU support for NVIDIA or AMD graphics cards. Here, you will choose the image that best suits your needs. I will be building my image with NVIDIA GPU support. You can copy the command for your chosen image. Click on the Windows search bar, type PowerShell and open a PowerShell prompt. Before we build this image, let's run NVIDIA-SMI. I'm doing this to ensure my NVIDIA driver is working. On this PC, I only have the NVIDIA Stereo drivers installed. On this PC, I don't have CUDA installed. When I test for CUDA support with NVCC, you'll see that it fails. So everything I'm using on local AI works just with the Stereo driver. We can now paste our chosen run command. This command will build an image with NVIDIA CUDA 12 support. Execute this command and follow along in your PowerShell. Give the installer some time to download and complete building your Docker image. When the installation completes, 
you'll see local AI started and it will launch a web server on your PC on port 8080. Open a web browser. Navigate to http colon forward slash forward slash 127.0.0.1 colon 8080. You should be presented with this local AI homepage. It's now time to start populating local AI with your favorite models. I would like to demo the chatbot next. So let's install a LLM to use. Click here on the model gallery to search for and install any model that you like. For now, I'll search for the Gemma 3 model. Find the Gemma 3 model you want to install and then simply click here on the install button. Depending on the size of the model you selected, the download and install may take some time to complete. Give the model some time to install and when it completes, head back to your home page. You will see the Gemma 3 model installed and ready to be engaged in a chat. Let's test drive this. Click here on chat and this will directly load this model into the chatbot. Give it a prompt and submit. The important thing we want to verify here is that the workload is being offloaded to the GPU and we can verify this here in our task manager. With the chatbot tested, let's get Stable Diffusion working next. From the models gallery, click on the image models. Here you will see an arrangement of Stable Diffusion models we can install. Let's install the Dream Shaper model. Give Local AI some time to download the selected model and it will set up the backend requirements we need for Stable Diffusion. With the Dream Shaper model installed, navigate back to the Local AI home screen. Again, if we click on the Dream Shaper model, it will load it directly into Stable Diffusion for image creation. Let's feed it a prompt to test image creation. Click on Generate, and there you have it, your first image created in Stable Diffusion. As you can see, Local AI gives us a way to get Stable Diffusion up and running very easily. Let me quickly show you how to get the text-to-speech feature up and running. Let's visit the models page. Select TTS. This will filter for all the text-to-speech models. Select and install one of the TTS models. Again, give this some time to complete. When we now visit the home page, we can see our TTS model loaded. Click on the TTS model to load it up. We can now supply it some text that we would like to convert to speech. Hi everyone, thanks for watching the video up to now. Remember to like, comment and subscribe. And that should cover most of the basics of getting your local AI system up and running. For the experts in the house, we still have extended functionality available to us. Local AI supports distributed AI computing. With Local AI, you can build your own AI farm and you can share the workload between various AI nodes. Let me know in the comments if anyone sets this up and puts this to good use. All of the features we've seen in this video, from the chatbot, to image creation in Stable Diffusion and even text-to-speech is available to third-party apps or even our own code. Local AI exposes a full API, so we can send commands to the API to utilize any of these features. In any workloads that you were shipping off to OpenAI's API can now be processed by your local system. Let me quickly show you how to stop local AI and how to launch this again should you ever reboot the system. Open Docker. Stop the running local AI image and verify in PowerShell that local AI stopped. We can see that local AI is stopped. Should you want to launch this again, you'll enter the following command in PowerShell. Docker space start space dash i space local dash ai execute this command follow along in powershell and you'll see local ai booting up again and you should now have local ai up and running with most of the features working as expected let me know in the comments what you think about the system and what you're planning to use this for
I hope you found value in this video. If you did, please remember to like, share and subscribe. And if you really want to support the work of this channel, you can show your support by joining the channel as a channel partner. Thank you so much for watching this video. And remember to keep an eye on the channel for future AI and technology videos.